So day three of week eight then, it's the final day of the week, so it's globetrotting day, and we've only got four courses to go to today. Goodwood, we'll see the end of the glorious Goodwood meeting, with a few races there, we've got some low grade handicaps at Brighton, and also split in between them, some nice races from Deauville will end the week at Oceanport. So looking quickly then at the two big races at Goodwood. It's the Nassau Stakes, first of all. A one mile, two furlong event for fillies and mares. A young guy, Zella David Aaron Thompson, should be a warm order in that one. Lady Jane Felsham is pretty inconsistent, but he's a pretty good horse as well. So to his twinted. Will be a good race. The Stewart's Cup after that will be a cavalry charge up the Goodwood Strait. Uh, six furlongs to be wide open. The races at Deauville are first of all the Pre Mornay, which is a two year old race over six and a half furlongs. I am Kira, won the last two times for Hans Jones. Looks like he's got himself a decent horse there. Espiritu is also a dual winner for John Morgan. Uh, Rebecca Curtis of Paul Rhodes and Powerful Beauty for Molly at Surfer, as well as Volos for Darren Thompson have already won this season as well. So that should be. A pretty good race there. I'll we'll follow that up with the Prix Maurice de Giste, which is a six and a half furlong event. Group one for three rods and upwards, and all the usual suspects are in that. Uh, and I'm sure they'll battle it out between them. After that, we'll go to Brighton for some pretty low grade handicaps, and then we'll finish the week off at Ocean Port with again a couple of low grade races and a couple of group ones. First of all, the Haskell Stakes, which is over nine furlongs. Crowley Delight like for Steve Rand. Looks to have the best form in that one, and he's thought a little bit better than all the others. Zelda Velez for Darren Thompson's also a winner, and Margaret Court would be probably just about an appropriate winner as Wimbledon's just finished. But the final Group 1 race of the week is the United Nations Stakes, and um, that's a Group 1 over a mile and a half a furlong, so it's you know, get another run of the Guineas, isn't it, really? With a few four-year-olds thrown in, hopefully, and Octo Nimbus, Tuk Tuk, Silver Chair, all be in there, battling against each other again, although Derek Hinton's managed to sneak in a newcomer, everybody van. So let's see what happen with that. So that's your week eight then, all done and dusted in the books. We'll see you next week for week nine.